on us as a species and we need to start thinking as a species My brother Ricky and all music fans, namaste. 
Thank you for your friendship, my dear brother Ricky, and for your partnership in organizing today's Earth Day concert. I am really proud of you as, as always. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic is reminding us of a simple but vital truth. We're one species sharing one planet. We're all in this together, and we will only get through it together. This new coronavirus does not recognize borders, nationality, wealth, privilege, education, or ideology. COVID-19 has also reminded us that the chain of human health is only as strong as its weakest link. Like in musical group, each one of us has a role to play. Right now, you can play your role. Clean your hands. Keep your distance from others. Avoid touching your face. Stay home as much as possible. Reach out to friends, family, and even strangers to offer kindness and support. If we all do this together, we will end the pandemic. But we will also learn what it means to live and work together in solidarity. WHO is committed to working for the highest attainable standard of health for all people everywhere. No matter where you were born, how much money you have, or what language you speak. Because health is a human right. That's what today's Earth Day concert is all about. I thank my friend Ricky K for bringing together the group of wonderfully talented and passionate artists you're about to hear. That's enough from me. Let's get started. And Ricky, who is up first? together we are all in this together and nothing can remind us like a simple act of kindness hey and in the blackest of night just one flash of light shows we're not alone no not today Thank you, Dr. Ted Ross, for your amazing and sensitive leadership during this historic crisis. Hello, everyone. Namaste. Hola. I'm staying at home and welcome to my home studio and I'm honored to perform for all of you. All our wonderful musicians are beaming in from their homes. So this is literally a homemade concert. Our first song is about new beginnings, overcoming darkness with light, about how every entity on this planet is an important part of our ecosystem and overall health. Written in English and also in the ancient language of Sanskrit, our first song is called A New Dawn. And I have the privilege and honor to introduce our first musician on this virtual stage, the living legend of Indian classical music performing an instrument invented by himself. Grammy Award winner Pandit Vishwamohan Bhatt is joining us from Jaipur, India. Panditji, are you ready? <laughs> okay, here we have A New Dawn. Thank 
that I only work with musicians who are much, much better than me, and today is no different. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our wonderful ensemble of musicians from around the world. All of them are in their respective homes. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Some of you, you heard on our opening songs, and some who will join us over the next 45 minutes. 
Now first we have the brilliant, good-looking and a musical genius Lonnie Park joining us from New York, USA. Hello, namaste. We have the Senegalese legend himself and the voice of Wakanda in the Black Panther movies, Baba Mal joining us from Sen Senegal. Namaste. We have Grammy Award winner, flute virtuoso Wouter Kellerman joining us from Melbourne, Australia. He's actually from South Africa though. Hi. Grammy Award winner Laura Dickinson joining us from Los Angeles, USA. Hi everyone. The awesome singer I.P. Singh joining us from Mumbai, India. Namaste. What you also violin is Manoj George joining us from Bangalore, India. Hello. My Hi. favorite drummer in the whole wide world, Arun Kumar from Bangalore, India. Namaste. The really talented singer and flutist extraordinaire, Wari Jashri from Bangalore, India. Namaste. We have Indian classical vocalist Vijay Shankar from Mumbai, India. Namaste, everyone. Dan Bao player Hai Fong joining us from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Now she plays a single stringed instrument. Namaste. A backing vocalist Karen from Bangalore, India. Hi. And the amazing, the energetic Zanzi Youth Choir all the way from Soweto in South Africa. <laughs> and we also have the world renowned speed painter Vilas Nayak. Namaste. Our next song is about water. This song is a dedication to our great Indian river, Ganges. The Ganga, as we fondly call her, is one of the greatest rivers in the world. In our country, she's studied as a symbol of purity, of spirituality and of life itself. Incredibly, she nourishes the lives of over one-tenth of the world's population. Now, as Dr. Tedros reminds us, as hand washing is one of the key ways to stop the virus, water again not only gives us life, but it protects our lives. Here is our next song, Ganga.
Download the One Page Spotlight app for artists. If you've just tuned in, I'm Ricky Cage and we are performing from our homes from across the world for you. Thank you for letting us onto your screens and into your homes. With all that's happening right now, one thing that we've come to appreciate even more is food. Our next song is dedicated to farmers all over the world. It is because of them that we are nourished and healthy. Now for this song, I traveled through the most remote regions of India and collaborated with the real tribal working farmers who sing songs about nature, songs that have been passed down for thousands and thousands of years and generations and generations. Right now, all over the world, it is the farmers, the grocers, and the people who deliver our food who are our heroes. And for those of us in isolation, food is not just about survival, but the family meal shared with joy and imagination. Here is our tribute to the world's farmers, the One With Earth song.
Patricia Espinosa, the Executive Secretary of UN Climate Change. Thank you to Ricky Kay and the World Ensemble for organizing this fantastic concert just when the world needs it most. These are difficult times, but they are also times of hope. Millions throughout the world are working together, helping each other, showing kindness to everyone. Neighbors are helping neighbors. Workers in essential services are again showing us why they are true heroes. And others are using their own unique talents to help make life better for all. That includes the fantastic group of musicians we'll hear from here. I am inspired by your work and on this Earth Day, it fills me hope that this idea of working together towards a common challenge will continue as the world continues to fight climate change. Thank you again to Ricky Kay, to the artists participating today, and to all of you for doing your part and shining your light. You are beacons of hope guiding us all forward. In the South Pacific, there is an island nation called Kiribati. This nation is made up of 21 inhabited islands, very low-lying atoll islands. It is predicted that Kiribati will be the first country in the world to go completely underwater due to climate change and this will happen during our lifetimes. I visited Kiribati and I realized that this is a country that actually lives within nature. They do not take more than they can give back from nature. They are an environmentally conscious society. Now climate change is not their fault at all, but unfortunately for them our entire planet has just one atmosphere and it is a very thin one. Our carbon emissions and pollution becomes their carbon emission and pollution and they are suffering the consequences of our actions just because they are low-lying islands and are forced onto the front line of climate change. So here is a song dedicated to the beautiful and vulnerable island nation of Kiribati with their ex-president Anote Tong speaking to us through the song. Here is Vishwa. Science is very clear about climate change. Within the century, our entire nation will be underwater. As in some countries, you do have a cyclone, a hurricane. Over time, the land remains there, and the water recedes. In our case, it does not. It's a disaster that doesn't go away. Our reality is that uh, we have communities who already have to relocate. They've uh, left their villages. We have communities which are on the verge of doing the same thing. And so, for us, climate change is not something that, that's likely to happen in the future. It is happening, we are facing it. कदे अपने आप नो पढ़िया ना पाज पाज वड़ना मंदर मसीती कदे मन अंदर तो वड़िया ना ऐमे रोज शैतान ना लड़ना कदे नफ़ज अपनी नाले लड़िया ना I've always referred to our situation as those countries on the front line because when we fall, there'll be another front line and that front line will keep moving back until those countries and those people who believe that they will not be affected will eventually be affected and that is the reality we are facing.
And I think as human beings, we are being challenged. Should we do something about it? And I believe, yes, everybody has the responsibility to do it. Because the question that we continue to ask ourselves, what is to become of our children? How will they continue to live without that link with the land and the, and the spirits they're in? There are simple, effective things we can all do to reduce the risk of infection for ourselves and those around us. Clean your hands regularly with an alcohol-based strap or soap and water. Cover your mouth and nose with your elbow if you cough or sneeze. Stay home if you're sick. Avoid unnecessary travel and large social gatherings. Comply with the advice of your local or national health authority. Find and share reliable information. And finally, you can give. Welcome to this evening, Earth Day. Ricky, musical friends, thank you for organizing this. What an amazing thing you have done. To stream together so many different strands of music, from so many places to so many parts of the world. That's the kind of spirit we need. Fortitude and innovation in the face of difficulty. And you've achieved this, so thank you from all my heart. Today, you've proved that actually it's not about social distancing, but physical distancing. And it's about social proximity. You have created social proximity, despite maintaining physical distancing, safety, therefore. Your melody today, is going to be the story of our lives and our success. And your harmony is going to illustrate the harmony that the whole world needs around us to be able to fight this challenge together. And we will, and we will succeed. Tonight, celebrate, enjoy the evening, enjoy the music. Thank you. Now, do all of you love the elephant? Okay, I can't see you guys, so I'm just going to assume that all of you said a resounding yes. Our next song is dedicated to the elephant. Now they're facing a lot of difficulty due to deforestation. In fact, they're losing their homes. We humans are building roads, railway tracks through their forests in which they live. So here is a song that tells us that nature is just a reflection of ourselves and the health of our forests and wildlife and ecosystems is directly proportional to our own health as human beings. Here is our next song, Love Divine.
unto me You do unto yourself, oh la la love divine Is the very heart of mine For of Namaskaram. Congratulations to all the musicians, Ricky Cage, Baba Mal, Vishwamohan Bhatt, every one of you for taking this initiative. Our aspiration for well-being, is it all about our individual self or our family or our community or about humanity itself? This is the time to show what kind of human beings we are. This is the time when we have an opportunity to express in whichever way we can to ensure that every one of us, every citizen in the world becomes a part of the solution. Without everyone participating in this, there is no success. Everyone should become part of the solution, not part of the problem. The simple way to do this for every human being on the planet is ensure that you are not infected by the virus. Just in case such a thing happens, ensure that this virus will not move from you to another person and another person. This much if we take care, the rest, the medical personnel, the administrations and various other services which are there can take care of it. If we have to ensure that their work will happen effectively, we have to ensure that we stay free from virus. Our next song is sung from the perspective of a child. She's singing to her parents, asking them, what have they done to this world? And why is there no beauty left in the world for her, for her siblings and for her future generations to enjoy? And she's asking her parents to at least leave her a world where she can breathe clean air, where she can enjoy the rainbows. Now, Lonnie and I wrote this next song with the legendary folk singer Peter Yarrow from America. It is called, Where Are My Rainbows?
Where are my rainbows once promised to me? Who will save the oceans, the rivers, and the sea? Who will save the birds, the plants, and who the ancient trees? Who will save my breaking heart for the world we used to be? I've drunk the poison water that left my body dry. I've prayed upon the mountains and heard their anguished cries. I've held the earth and smelled the ache of rocks that cracked with pain. Spilled my tears onto the soil that will not heal again. Where are my rainbows once promised to me? Who will save the oceans, the rivers, and the sea? Who will save the birds, the plants, and who the ancient trees? Who will save my breaking heart for the world we used to be? Where are my rainbows once promised to me? Who will save the oceans, the rivers, and the sea? Who will save the birds, the plants, and who the ancient trees? Who will save my breaking heart for the world we used to be? Who will save my breaking heart for the world we used to be?
50 years ago, people mobilized around the world to demand a new social contract with nature. Earth Day was born. Today, our social contract is put in jeopardy. The current COVID-19 crisis is showing us how much we depend on each other and how much we depend on nature for our health, for our food systems, and for livelihoods. We obtain more than 99.7% of our food from land. And for many of our communities in the world, land is the source and the only source of livelihood, the only safety net there is. We need to protect nature and continually promote healthy landscapes. We also need to build back stronger and smarter in ways that are healthy, safe, green, just, and more resilient. As the UN Convention to Combat Desertification, we are very proud to have Ricky Cash and Baba Mal as land ambassadors. The land anthem is just great. With them, let us use our strength to fight COVID-19. Let us recommit to what Earth Day is all about. Let us rise again for a new social contract with nature. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Thank you so much, Ibrahim. Now let us all celebrate the joy of life. We are all born from the land. Featuring the living legend Baba Mal, Lonnie Park, IP Singh and the amazing Zanzi Youth Choir from Soweto, South Africa, we present to you the official UNCCD land anthem, Born from the Land. To know, we'll always have a home, a solid ground beneath our feet. The earth we walk upon, and build our homes upon, she can provide our every need. But we need to stop and look around and marvel at all its beauty. Let's celebrate the joy of life oh, We're born from the land oh, You and I and all of life oh, We're born from the land yeah. Let's celebrate the joy
So now as our last song for this online concert, we would like to perform Shine Your Light live for you. It is dedicated to all life on our planet. This is a song about solidarity and kindness. Remember, we are all in this together. The virus does not discriminate and our simple acts of kindness to each other can inspire millions and millions. And let us not isolate, even though we are not physically together, all of us musicians, you saw during the concert. However, all of us can be together in absolute harmony. We are all connected in this fight. Featuring Lonnie Park, Walter Kellerman, Laura Dickinson, I.P. Singh and the Zanzi Youth Choir. Is everybody ready? All the musicians ready? Okay, here we go. Shine your light. Give everyone a bow now. You guys have been a wonderful, wonderful but invisible audience and I wish I could get to know each and every one of you personally. I'm so filled with gratitude to you. Please write to me at music at rickycage.com and follow me on my social media and I will take the time out to personally respond to each and every one of you. Now stay home, stay safe, and together in solidarity, let's beat the COVID pandemic. Hope to be with you again soon. Happy Earth Day to all of you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so very much.
Download the One Page Spotlight app for artists.